millivolt gas valve, but I got uh, voltage coming in. But uh, then uh, one of the thermostat wires goes through through a high limit. There's a high limit up here. And so I just reset that. And now the furnace came up. The 235 millivolts with the system on. Fifty millivolts, four hundred forty-eight. I guess it's going down though. This is with the wall furnace off. We're just asking for a pilot to be on. <coughs> So if it's overheating, then we should probably check the gas pressure. Make sure it's not overfired. And also check the flue to make sure that nothing's backing up, causing the heat to stay in. So I'm going to check the temperature at the top where this temp switch is and I mean we're in between 150 and 160 I went up and checked the flue pipe and uh, everything looks clear all the way down all the way down to here I was able to see so <clears throat> I don't know these temperatures here look pretty pretty normal to me but we did have a storm last night that was really windy and very rainy and it, I've heard before that they can they can uh, trip these uh, limit switches so Well, that was a good call. I, um, I, you know, I'm not the, um, I know that those wall furnaces are not that complicated, but, um, for some reason in my mind, I, I make them out to be something more, uh, which I'm sure a lot of technicians do, but it's a learning process. So I, I feel like I learned a little bit. I checked the draft, you know, I checked the flue pipe and I looked all the way down it and I was able to, no obstructions. Uh, I was thinking I would check the gas pressure but I don't see anywhere on the gas valve where I can check that gas pressure. There's uh, some lettering on there that says in and out, but uh, I don't know. I, maybe I missed it, but I've, I was sitting there looking for some Allen key uh, slots that I can pull back that screw out a little bit and check the pressure, but I wasn't able to. We did have a storm last night and it was super windy. Um, and so I've heard in the past that just that draft, just the changes in pressure and the wind alone can take away uh, the vent. Uh, and so then it can overheat that way. Just walking around the wall furnace, 
I saw I saw I was taking the temperatures and I could see the um, the temperatures fluctuating. I mean, so one time it actually got up to like two two hundred and thirty just by me just walking around it. So that was kind of weird. But for the most part, the temperature stayed between one hundred and fifty uh, and two hundred. It's almost five o'clock. We're running out of sunlight here, so I'm gonna head home. It's Friday night. Happy Friday to you guys, and we'll uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.